They never think about your bond when they fire you, eh? Oh, fuck God, oh. they don't. <laughs> you think the bank is thinking of Sahara right now? No. <laughs> Oh, and, then, and then you walk in there you're like what about our bond that we have developed <laughs> over these years they're like sorry James <laughs> not gonna happen this time around <laughs> oh, fuck off James <laughs> bond. The bond, but the, ah, fuck off we've given you 007 chances to fucking pay your fucking 947 chances 947 <laughs> chances and you didn't pay shit And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill. Yes. Carl is here. Yes. Ghost Lady is here. here. Simpua is here. Mm. Malagant is here. Mm. And our new fact checker is here. William is here. Hey, William the fact checker. Yeah. Hey. What up, William the fact checker? So who's going to fact check the fact checker? Hey. Yes. The chillers. All the people are sending think- emails, <laughs> applying for the job. Yeah. Hey, I've gotten so many emails. Yeah. So they'll be hey. fact checking. If he's fact checking correctly, if he doesn't, they'll email us out and say, hey, I can do a better job. Hey, here's the fact check. You got it wrong here. Uh-huh. No, I'm kidding. No pressure. So bro. if we say something wrong, how are you going to tell us we're saying something wrong? Are you going to tell Ghost Lady or what? Just shout wrong. Cap. You'll shout. Yeah. Just say cap. Cap. Oh, oh, no, you know what? Actually, where's the podcast cap? Uh, <laughs> the white uh, yeah. Oh, who's throwing the cap? Feels our, <laughs> our merch. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, no. If we're wrong, just throw the cap in. <laughs> oh, take it back. Hey, okay. Oh. Where, where's the blue uh, uh, bucket hat? No, take the cap thing back. Uh, 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 where's uh, the blue bucket hat? Uh, that was here. Yeah. Uh, 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 always steals furniture and wears it. <laughs> yes. It's furniture, man. It's not that. Yeah, if we lie, just throw the cap in. Cap. <laughs> No, just throw it in. If you were, the chillers can't see it. <laughs> throw it in. Just chuck it in. Yeah, just throw the cap in and someone will and pick it up again for the next cap. <laughs> Shout out to our friends at Genologist. They got four new, brand new mixes, man. Ooh. They got gin and tonic, gin and pina colada. That's the one I'm drinking. Which one are you drinking? I'm having summer cup. Ah, toast to a no. Toast uh, to Genologist. And an awesome episode. An op- op- awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. Gin yes. and dry lemon and gin and Strawberry. Oh, nice. I shall soon join you. Oh, yes. How many weeks, Coast Lady? How many months left, eh? Oh, like uh, about a month. A month. Just a little more than a month. And, yeah. a and then are you going to take maternity leave? Of course. Damn. It's going to be so weird, bro. Wait, you're taking shit. maternity leave? <laughs> no, I won't. Actually, and if you give birth, you'll be, I should be fine by the Saturday or Sunday we're recording it. Eh? So you're going to do the, 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 yeah. the recording with us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you didn't take around. maternity leave. Yes, you know, so why should I? I? Yeah, but you know, we have a right as men. Exactly, also. We also exactly. Take maternity leave, You've you got know? paternity leave. That's what your leave guy is called. Oh, I was just called paternity leave. Yes, paternity leave. I remember when, <laughs> Din- <laughs> when Dino Radaka was doing drive time at Y. Oh, yeah? Uh, she had to go on maternity leave, and then I was standing in for her. Nice. She was meant to go on for a month, uh, but. I, I stood in for, for about a week Killing it Of course <laughs> She came back <laughs> She came back <laughs> Fast That fast I bought I bought I bought mission <laughs> I bought <laughs> Of course It's tricky there. It's tricky there You can be a corpse now yeah. Leave your show Come back No show Bro hmm. Speak about kids Did you guys know that uh, People are stealing baby milk now Baby milk. Yeah. Baby milk. Yeah, like it's a thing now. Oh, you mean like in the shops, it's next? Been. Yeah. It's you actually, been. Yeah, yeah. I actually know about that because when you buy milk, it's got. Uh, in fact, you don't even get in just the normal aisle. You have to go whether to the front or. Oh somewhere. yeah, most of Cambridge or something. By Cambridge. by the counter, Pambili. <laughs> yeah. No, the stores <laughs> where by the stores where by Yakot. No, right? I know, like, no, no. It's, it's all shops now. All shops. Oh, is it? I think like even. I thought it's like just by the stores. Even where... malls, you know, oh, like yeah. you think you're respectable places. No, no ways. Everywhere. Bro, it's crazy because I bought uh, uh, milk the other day and then uh, uh, the guy helping me pack the stuff into the boot. Yeah. Right? He yeah. helps me pack the stuff into the boot. Boom, boom, boom. Give him 20 bucks. Danko, bafo. I get home, the milk is gone. How? He knocked wow. it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a commodity now. Bro. Oh, damn. So all shops. I thought it was just the shops where... Yeah, well, the likelihood of theft happens. <laughs> nah, not even no. the movies, bro. They we put have, it in the back. 
Even Woolies, Woolies, they lock it up they And then it. you have to ask for the key yes. And then they come open They give you yes, the milk for milk What is happening? <laughs> hey, bro. Hectic And pharmacies Whether it's your cliques or whatever Didn't people know Kids cost this much Before they had the kids? <laughs> well They realize after They've had the kid And the kid is crying for milk Basically Which is also sad Yeah you know? I mean like it's, it's the whole thing of You know some shops Right, maybe not Woolies, but they always put the picture of a person caught stealing, yeah. shoplifting, mm. and I always there's a part of me that feels sad if they're stealing baby food, or even just food, like basic food. You know, if they're stealing like the cheese, you're like ah, go to God, you know. But if they steal like bread, baby food, it's so sad. It's basics, but yeah, but it's you know, sad it's, that yeah, it is sad, but not it's, it. it's it's theft right there. Yeah, well. I remember uh, I went to my cousin's place this one time. Got so lit, we got so drunk, and I was taking care of Ziggy. He was still, mm. still, still a kid, mm. still a baby, and um, so we're sleeping now. And then during the night, he starts crying because he wanted some milk, and it ran out. The bottle had ran out, right? Mm. Ah, dog, I'm wasted at this time, dog. I'm mm. drunk as fuck. Mm. So I went to the fridge, got some full cream, put it in the bottle, gave it to him, slept like a baby. <sighs> Oh, just f- fresh milk. Hey, beastie, beastie. I got him down the phone, beastie. And then he yeah, slept. Oh, I didn't have time. Oh, I didn't have time to make the. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was there. Yeah. The, the, the powder, the baby milk. Yeah, I just the didn't formula. Have time, dog. Ah. Ah. Makes the drug, dog. Ah. Beastie, beastie. Yeah. But I guess now you'll not even. You can't do that again. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, in case if the same looking. happens with with, with you, like your 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 daughter now, would you do that again? No, I mean, look at how Ziggy came out. He's good. He's healthy. But does exactly. it hurt their stomachs? Like, I think that's why they've got their own specific milk. Ah, he was ah, fine. He's man. good. He's good. grown up. He had all the milk. <laughs> do you he's know fine. that I only just lactose. started now giving my son, and remember, he's seven, like yeah. drinking full cream milk. All along, he's been still taking Nespray. I know my other friends laugh at me. Like, to what age? Because I was just like stressed. Like I can't give him full cream milk. Why? Because I thought it hurts their stomachs. Yeah, fact check there. What <laughs> age can they? Yeah, what age? Yeah. Like yeah, William is even laughing oh, yes, at me. Ah, <laughs> he's in awe. He's like... Oh, 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 oh. It's William. It's like, oh. It's William the whole. Oh. It's William the whole. Oh. It's like, oh. he, he's, he's still oh. on hand, huh? He's waiting for you to press the button. Oh, oh, oh. He's not fake checking. I mean, you must be here. You must read our minds. You must be in sync. We, we, we must be, you know, synchronized. We started this show like 20 minutes ago, Red. Yeah. William Long. He's like, oh, oh. William's like, oh. <laughs> now William Glam is catching strays, man, you know? It's a love, though. Anyway, I got 10 life lessons you need to learn and start doing in your 20s. Are you guys ready for these? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Aren't you yeah, too late yeah, for them, us. though? All okay. Right, cool. Number one, don't collect things. They weigh you down. Apparently, Elon Musk decided to sell his physical possessions saying they were weighing him down. So, yeah, he's got no houses, nothing. When you're rich... You, you cannot can collect that, things, yeah, when you're rich. So you don't agree with that one, Ghost Lady? I don't know. I, I agree with it, but we can't look at houses as a collection, as a collection, mm. right? Mm. Like, you know, my granny, you know, our, the older generation used to hoard things. And in the house, you'd find all these useless things like doilies and useless things we'd never use in the house. And Glasses, mugs, yeah, you know. That, that, that you can't use. You can't use. It's like, <laughs> wow, what's this cup for? What's this chalice for, Granny? For visitors. For, <laughs> for visitors that never and come. And even when the visitors come, they can't even use the golden chalice. <laughs> like, what's, what's this thing for? So I agree, don't hoard things, but you can't look at a house. House, because oh, that's why I'm stuck on. Yes. That's why I'm like, okay, wait, I'm still trying to assess yes. of the, when you say houses. But I know with the new generation, they've said that they are less into buying homes, whereas p- previously, people were about buying homes. So I don't know if it, it is it unlocked along those things? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, because especially with us, right? We like, with blacks, we love to buy. Mm. What like, like you find an old German who's 60, is retired, is renting. If he dies, he's like, oh, I'll die, i die. I'll die I'll My die. rent stops. Mm. They find a new tenant, they bury me. Mm. I don't need to buy a home. I don't need a house. You know, mm. I get that. But hey, man, you need a place to stay, you know. We're not all Kanye West. Like, also, Kanye doesn't have a home. Oh, it's he? a suitcase, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> During drink champs, when I was like, oh, yeah, I bought a new home last week. They're like, oh, well, that was, like, yeah, like, yeah, it's slightly bigger than the old one. It's like a meter big now. You know? it's, it's a suitcase. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's a suitcase, literally. He's living out of a suitcase. And he's a billionaire. Yeah, and you've got to be rich, though, to maintain that. To do that. To do that. Also, with us, I think where it's the security of a home. Mm. Like, if I buy a home, I'm like that 60 year old German. You know what I mean? I didn't retire with a couple of millions that I know I'll always be good to pay a, a, a 12 or 15,000 rand rent. With us, it's like one day you're out of a job, you at least have got the security of a roof yes. over your head. And it's an investment as well. It is. I remember also, uh, yes. w- when I was reading the Zahara story, oh. same thing happened oh, I to heard. me. That, um, oh. Yeah, I had to sell my, uh, my house. Oh, shit. So, so what happened is I got fired, right? Mm. Uh, and I was paying bond and whatever. Yes. Uh, and then I was in arrears for about five months. Mm. So the bank called me. They're like, listen, we're going to have to auction the house unless you sell it. Mm. Fucking hell. That's, so, is that how the conversation goes? Yes. Yeah, so, I just wondered. So, so luckily, uh, I was able to get a buyer before it went on auction. Mm. Uh. Then I was able to get money, pay the bank off, and then I was left with some bit of cash yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, to buy mics, and the podcast started. Oh. Hey, look, now you've got five houses now. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> five suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I think with Sahara, though, like... I think her the auction was was going to happen this past weekend or something. So I think why couldn't she actually sell the home before the auction? You see how how you did it. Maybe she thought she was going to get money before mm. and have time to pay. Didn't she say that in the when you guys interviewed her that she bought the house cash? She did, but I think it was tied in with her debts or whatever. Oh, it was a security. The yeah. house it was, was, a, oh, it was used as a surety. Wasn't it used as a surety for a so. loan? Yes, yeah, so it was a loan. Yes. And the house was used as security. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's the house we were in. That's... Yeah, well, they say rape, sir. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was oh, it where you guys were? No, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ. We played basketball. We danced in that house. Yeah, bro, it's sad when you lose a house, man. I almost cried when I lost that house. I loved it to bits. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. It's a home, man. You know? We shot the first few episodes. I know. We for a long time, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, Damn, we used to man. shoot at his house. And they decided to fire me, those fuckers. Oh, shit. They never think about your bond when they fire you, eh? Oh, fuck God, oh. they don't. <laughs> <laughs> you think the bank is thinking of Zahara right now? No. <laughs> Oh, and, then, and then you walk in there like what about our bond that we have developed <laughs> <laughs> over these years they're like sorry James <laughs> not gonna happen this time around <laughs> oh, fuck off James <laughs> bond. <laughs> bond we've given you 007 chances to fucking pay your fucking 947 r- chances <laughs> 947 chances and you didn't pay shit <laughs> fuck off James <laughs> no, I, what happened. <laughs> number two spend money on expenses Experiences. Spend money on deep and meaningful experiences instead of latest phone, for an example, which will you forget in 10 years so or so that you have owned. I agree with that. Oh, that's like traveling. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. I'm all about experiences. I get, yeah. that, I I love that. Yeah. I get that 100%. <laughs> yeah. That I agree with 100%. Because I mean, God forbid, if you were to pass away, what I would remember is the experiences we had. Yes, yeah. true, exactly. You know what we're like, ah, oh, Saul had this, the latest phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah. The yeah. latest glasses. The latest glasses. The mm. spectacles. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nah, bro. So spectacle game was on fleek. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know, exactly. There we go. That wasn't that funny. Eh? Why are you laughing? Ah, uh, Pela, like, man, that's food. We don't want to, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't look. Like how? <laughs> you know, so, we have to laugh. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you have to carry it forward, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see, you open an opportunity for Saul to come back, okay? Yeah, exactly. Well, save you know, us. You didn't say that. But if you didn't say it was, if we just moved on like it was funny, you know, nothing would have come over. Exactly. <laughs> you exposed it. Uh, remind yourself that you will die. Remembering that you will one day die is a ref- refreshing way of filtering the non-important things in life. Okay. That's so true. That's very yes. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remind myself a lot of my mortality. <sighs> so true. Yeah. Mm. When you die, when, where do you want to get buried? When I die, I, I don't care. Mm. Close enough for my kids to come see me. So first look. One so far. No, no, not even first look. My mom, she's buried in, 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 in South Park, which is Joburg. It's a South Park, yeah. Ellsberg, South Park, right after Kliporki. Mm. Very close to me. Mm. So there, if there's still space, there. You know, but if, let's say next day I buy my home and my home is somewhere, yeah. then I can bury it close to my home. Where my daughter can see me because her my house is her house. I would have left it for her. In the back of your home? Can you do that? I, 
Hey, good idea. Actually, yeah. Ne? Bury me in, the, in my backyard. Yeah, ne? bury so me in you, my backyard. You, so my you... enemies can't come and piss on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and all that shit. Yeah. yeah, like there's no reason why I should be accessible or my resting place. Technically, I won't be there, but backyard actually. Backyard is a good idea. But that happens you... in obviously, let's say, Emakaya, you know. Emakaya it happens, yeah, it yes. happens. But I'm just thinking, like, is your backyard in the burbs? Like, where's your backyard? It you... would be in the burbs, of anyway. course. I'm not if I buy my home, I'd buy my home in the burbs. You know? Is it allowed, though, to just you, for you to bury someone? It's my home, it's my yard, it's my piece of land. Surely I can do anything. And you do you have to go to Munaga's family? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, uh, yeah, actually, I'll, if I die, there. I'll get buried all the way that side. So we'll have to go to Nailsbury. Yeah. Damn. Why are you being so personal? Like, as if I'm dying now. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> we got to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can no, no, anytime, I've, I've accepted day. it, you know, as like, as weird as it feels. But yeah, that's, I'm going to be buried at my, you know, in-laws. Uh, they have their own like graveyard kind yeah. of space. Like, uh, me, I want to go to Venda. I want to see who loves me. Are your motherfuckers going to come to Venda? It's far, dog. You gotta think twice before. Hey, man, you. I'm not gonna come to Venice, bro. I'll come once a year. We'll go through the pace. I'll, I'll come once a year, dog. I'll come once a year, you know. See you there. And also, I don't get that. Like, I don't get people who want to be buried where their life wasn't based, but rather where home is. And by home, it's like ancestral home. Mm. You know? So I have a friend whose mom passed away, stepmom. But she was like a mom to her. And they, the family was like, ah, we don't care. All the kids are here, but we are here. The husband was buried here. She was married. But because the husband died first, they took her all the way to KZN. What? Which, where no one knows her, yeah. you know? Or they knew her when she was a kid kind of thing. I don't get that. Like, oh. people, and there's people also want to do that. Like, your life is all in Joburg. And then, like, you want to be buried there, there, there. And your kids now have to take... Five trains or something to see you. Hey man, Joburg doesn't feel like home to me, man. Mm. Doesn't it? Nah. But you got but two I spent kids here. Most, most, most of my life. Your here. kids are here. Mm. They were born this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You were raised this side, you mm. know? And they'll probably set up their lives this, this side. This side. Mm. I still want to go home, dog. Yeah. You haven't convinced with me. With everybody else. But yeah. you know what I always say? Yeah. With death, once you're dead, you're dead. You know, they can even roll you in a blanket and bury you. You know, you won't even know. Yeah, that's why I don't even like, I'm not, I'd, I'm ne I'll never like specify my funeral. Have this, have this. Yeah. There's a, <laughs> there's a guy in the Eastern, fact check, I work. <laughs> there's a guy in the, in, the, in the Eastern Cape. You see, like, I don't know the details, but he'll find them. He got buried in his, in his car. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, like you know, Eastern Cape, like she said, like rural areas, yeah. backyard, whatever. Yeah, they he got buried in his car. That's Literally, you can see like the corpse there, you know, um, in the car. <laughs> He's getting ready. I think he had his license on him <laughs> to be ready to be stopped in the afterlife <laughs> by the Metro Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Did they give him a chocho though? <laughs> I think so. I think it, they also gave him a chocho. <laughs> I think he had some pocket change for a chocho. For a moment to corpse us as we do it. For real. Is it on? Did you find it? Oh, it's true. Yeah. 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 Oh, they got the picture. Hey, fact checker. <laughs> Tell us the details. It's, it's, where, where is give, it from? Give there's a, a mic. mic. There's you a see? Mic. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> just go to the Guardian Ni Nigeria News. South African political bur politician buried in his beloved car as a request. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay, it was not a politician. It was just an, a, an old man from in the Eastern Cape who just loved his car and just get, wanted to get buried in his car. Oh, but that's sweet. the picture, yeah. Crazy. There's a, there's a, there's a, what's it called? Um, I saw, uh, I, was, I forgot what I was watching, but in some African country, like Ghana or somewhere there. Mm -mm. So whatever you're doing as a profession, mm -mm. they do that for you on your last day. Like once you're dead, they take your body and let's say you're a DJ. Then they'll put you up with CDJs and people can come take pictures and whatnot. Oh. And then they make your, your, your coffin out of like uh, 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 CDJs or whatever, wow. speakers or whatever. Ooh. Wow, so yeah. so if you're a sex worker, hey, <laughs> are they gonna get some necrophilia? <laughs> <laughs> like who likes shagging dead bodies? <laughs> Come through and wow. copulate with this one. Yeah. Wow. So for wow, us, for nice. example, we'll build a set like this and put our corpse here, and oh, then you wow. can take a picture. We just like this. That is just oh, creepy. For real, yeah. Not saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but please get the mouse to move somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Work something out. <laughs> 
It's wild. No, man. that is just crazy. creepy. Uh, here we go. Another one. Number three. This is number three, name. Oh, flip. We're still on those things. Please. Yeah. Chase things to do. Chase fulfillment, not success. Fulfillment is a state of being. Success is merely an outcome. Ooh, mm. I like that. Ooh. I like that. Mm. I like wow. that. Break it down. Break it down for me. I'm confused. Fulfillment. Like, uh, it's doing what you love. Yeah. Instead of money. Oh, instead of money. it's going to bring me money or status, yes. right? Yes. So let me start this podcast even if it's going to be uh, viewed by 10 people. 100%. Or let me drop this this album yes. even though it's going to be streamed yes. by 10 guys and I'll be broke and miserable and mm-hmm. de- depressed mm. but because I love the music, right? And because then success comes after. True, because when you love the music and even one person says, yo, this song changed my life, that's enough for you. Mm. Even if you didn't sell gold, yeah. you don't have the cars, the mansions, yeah. that's the result from the music. Oh. Yeah. So it's like about, it's about the journey, not the destination. Oh, 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 oh. oh. See how you can't go on maternity leave. <laughs> yes, I'm going to drop that knowledge. Uh, yes. Hey. You enjoying the journey. Uh, you yeah. Know, of, of, you know, and instead of the delivery, right? Oh, no. I, I need of the update effect, please. Huh? <laughs> I want the delivery, please. <laughs> <laughs> you need deliverance, girl. <laughs> uh, follow your dreams. Be bold. Take risks. There's no substitute for experience. I like that. Uh, it's dope. easier said than done, though. Because mm. dreams don't often pay bills. Yeah. But it's good to follow them. Yeah, if you got the opportunity so, and you so can. So it's follow your dreams instead of? No, it's just follow your dreams. Okay. okay. If you've got the opportunity and your life is set up like that. Because some people have kids and you're 17. And, you know, maybe you don't have rich parents or parents who are well off enough to take care of them. Suddenly you need to take care of the kids. So if you're fortunate enough. Yeah, so if you're fortunate enough to be able to follow your dreams, yeah. Because sometimes life is set up different for other people. So we're talking about 10 life lessons you need to learn and start doing in your 20s. Mm-hmm. This is that radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. In, case so in, in, in case you just tuned in. In case you just... In case you just tuned in the YouTube <laughs> and for some odd reason you decided to go on, five, on 15 minutes and instead of starting from minute one. <laughs> Welcome, Yo, welcome. Bro, I was listening to radio the other day. Drive time show, dog. Mm. I forgot what show it was. The call out was, what else would you put in your vending machine at work? Radio's oh, wow. dead, I told you. Oh, wow. Metro Corps. <laughs> <laughs> Drive time, dog. Drive time. What else would you put in your vending machine? <laughs> Send us a voice note. <laughs> Metro Corps. Then the radio voice note, uh, by the way, I still continue to listen. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, cause, yeah, 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 yeah. You, like, you yeah. started thinking as well, what would you add? Yeah, yeah. what did the newsreader say? I'd uh, put in pads. Oh, wow. <laughs> the newsreader said she'd put in pads <laughs> <laughs> in a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in case of emergency. Yeah. You know? That's you know? bro, how do they think of these call outs, bro? Okay, so I call, I send a voice note, I'll put in one, and then what? And then Let's I'm saying, and then it. what? Like we all what? agree. Oh wow! Yes. Oh, in case of emergency, I'm sure that's how the you know the whole conversation. Hey man, is. as long as the bosses are happy, everybody, the, the listeners are happy. Fuck. Man. So for you, the, yeah. the listeners are happy. The bosses are happy. Hey, happy days. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. That's the drive. What show. would you put in, in a <laughs> podcast? Look at you stealing. <laughs> podcast vending <laughs> machine. Gosh. <laughs> And lube. <laughs> yeah, I put lube. <laughs> and why the boss that is this is lube? Funny enough, is it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, spend time with your loved ones. Work can wait. Mm, I'm not sure about those ones. Uh, you're not sure? Yeah, loved ones can get annoying at times, man. Nah, spend time. Yeah, spend time with your loved ones. Do mm. work is annoying because it's just work at the end of the day. But you, know? you see, this, this, you see, the thing is. That question, I mean, that statement, it's designed for people whose work is miserable to them. Oh, yes. It's not designed for people who are chasing their dreams, as that says. Yeah. Designed for people who, are, who who love the journey more than the, the, the result. You know what I mean? It's for people who, who and, work a miserable job. And remember, it's 20s. Like. Remember, in 20s, your priority is never like family as such. Not at so all. So you have to be reminded that, hey, prioritize in your important. family. Family is important. Mm. Don't wait. It's so boring. Don't <laughs> wait. Make a list of things you want to do and be in patient about doing them okay i agree with that eat healthy Whew, easier said than done mm-hmm. we eat healthy your body is not designed mm, for a life fish. of excess uh number nine don't rush life is not a race but a slow climb i like that mm-hmm. don't rush yes, yes yeah don't rush uh focus on your own lane <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
sound like you sound like you're trying to encourage yeah, me. Like, Ziki. Like, yeah, focus like focus in your own lane, <laughs> my son. Nah, don't Never rush at all, man. Never go lie. Don't rush at all. No, it's true though, bro. It's very true. If, if we're on the highway and I'm on the slow lane. We're still going to the same, same yeah. destination. Yeah. You could be on the fast lane. Mm-hmm. Bro, Bro, that's what Shimza did in my career. <gasps> I was on the slow lane. Uh, uh, Shimza. Uh, but we started together. Though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah, speak now. Yeah, but now I'm catching up. I won. Yeah, but surely I'm you hang out together now. Gunye, 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 right now. Eh? It's like, hey, 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 oh, shimmy, yeah, yeah, shimmy, shimmy, I'm just shimmy, I'm shimmy, I'm shimmy, so like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a two man show now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will love Shims. <laughs> no, but it's weird. And also, I was in Shims' hood. Yeah. My ass so getting cool. a, a haircut. So I'm in the Uber, and this guy, AMG, speaking of what you're saying, and it's like, dude, like there's kids here and whatever, you know what I mean? Two minutes later, we're at the same robots with him. Uh. <laughs> and then we're driving, we're like, <laughs> <laughs> So same thing, right? Aww. Don't rush. Don't own rush. lane. Travel in own lane, own speed. I loved Timbisa, man. I was playing at a place. I forgot the name of the place. And also, sorry. Yeah. The streets are closed in Timbisa. If you've been there, I don't know what's going on. Apparently, these guys were robbing. Yeah. So in order for them not to get away, those phone statues would get in the car. Yes, yes. So you can't find your way around Timbisa. All the, the roads are blocked. So you have to like get on the curb, climb the pavement and whatnot. So people from Tembisa must let us know what's up with that. So they block the road so Like they put rocks. So that like the, the phone snatches don't... So that the phone snatches or the robbers who are using their cars to get away can't get away. And oh. then they need to like... You need to squeeze into some tight thing on the pavement. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. Are it's a serious? nightmare to navigate Tembisa if you're not from Tembisa. Yeah. yeah. It, people, you'll see, they'll, 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 they'll corroborate what I'm saying. What an inconvenience. Oh, it's it's fucked up, Soweto bro. in Soweto as well. Even in Soweto, that yeah. happens. In the, also, it's a hood thing that happens where they block the streets because crime is fucked up, eh? Yeah, man. But you were saying that disturbed you. Uh, oh yeah, I was playing an event called Pizza oh, Sunday. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, we were there at yes. the weekend. Yes. It's the weirdest thing. I'll tell you about Bro. the weekend. Go on. So they have Pizza Sunday, and then on Tuesday they have Taco Tuesdays. The weekend, didn't they? Yeah. Yes. So. The, they, you know, the, the venue is called the weekend. What's the area code of Tembisa? Sixteen. Yeah, the weekend sixteen thirty two. That's the venue. Yeah. Yeah, we were there. Yes. So I'm like, that's dope, man, because it's always like, Mkhodu, what? Wow. Yes. This Every house is selling Kota. Kota, Kota Wednesdays. Yes. yes. So it's Pizza Sunday. Pizza Sunday. Yes. They've got Taco Tuesdays, which is dope, There's man. a Taco Tuesday? Yeah. Yes. yes. Taco, oh. taco Tuesdays. They make tacos. Tacos. Yeah. tacos. Yeah. Oh, so, so cool. I was underwhelmed, though, first time I had tacos. Is it? Yeah. I had them in Melville. Is it bar 66 or whatever? Yeah. Uh, and like, it's, it's just chips. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's, it's crisp, like it's lace and uh, and, and and toppings. Yeah. Oh, I get what you. You know what we should do? Yes. Like when we were kids, mm. Inkley, and you'd have like Simba chips. You take your Simba chips, have them with e, e, e gravy or whatever. Just yeah. for, it's that. Oh, that's taco. A taco. I yeah. Think you need to go to proper like Mexican restaurants. Then I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like having curry from what Sizzota, <laughs> right? You have to go to an Indian place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a real bunny chowder, proper curry, right? Yeah. How did you let to Sizzota? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> it's like people, it's like people who buy uh, um, wings from Steers and get disappointed that they are horrible. I'm yeah, like, but like it's, you can't buy chicken. Okay, not that you can't. Oh, debonairs. Yes. Oh, wings from yes. debonairs and you get disappointed. Like, wow, it's a pizza place. Of course you're going to get disappointed. Yeah. Pointed. So that's what I mean by like oh, Sizzoto, you know, selling tacos. Yeah. You have or to buying to- pizza at Moja Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moja Pizza. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Big up Moja to Moja chi- Chicken, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always blessing us. Uh, last one. Don't regret. Move on from yesterday forward to tomorrow. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that, man. So Move don't on. regret. Move yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Well, whether it be with exes or anything, mm. like lost friends, because a lot of people like to cling on Yay. to old shit. That's why I love my son, bro. I'll shit on him now. Five minutes, like, dad, dad, dad. I'm like, but I just shit on you, dog. <laughs> like, you're like, don't worry, son. We're back from Dubai. You <laughs> <laughs> told <work> now. <laughs> But I love that How you can just move on Like it's done Kids ne? Yeah Cause what? remember like When we used to get a hiding I got a hiding from my mom And that all is like I'm like I hate you <laughs> You meanest human being I wanna kill myself And then like Three hours later 
you are on a lap. She's hey. giving you a chomp, chocolate, yeah. you know. Like, oh, but you're a chomp still. <laughs> you know? and it's so nice. Kids are, it's beautiful to be kids. And when you bro. get older, that will last two months. Aye, 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 aye. When you get older, scolding. Ah, oh, cork, find a cork. You don't, you don't even eat. No, I'm not even just scolding. Like if me and you fight now, it's not all five people. Minutes. Yeah, true. I try, oh. I, I try as much as I can. But sometimes, even if your heart is set, I'm moving on. But there's an energy, mm. you know, that you can't shake, shake off. Get rid off. off yeah. you, you can't just oh, okay, it's a clan. You know, but in my heart of hearts, I'm like, are oh, we cool now? But there's sometimes there's energies, you know, but when the other person also reciprocates the positive vibes, it's all good. It's happy days. But we cool. I get over shit. We, cool. we better with that. Ladies can stretch it for yeah. years. For years, ladies. Ah. Yeah. Ah, ah, but ah. don't you guys like, don't you hold grudges? Nah. Nah, dog. Nah. If, if we have beef, we'll talk about it, chop it up. It's done. Yeah, so he's saying like Sumuzi, there's a likelihood Sumuzi can get back with Mohale, then Simpio Dana with her with her, or her, her wife. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's an extreme example. So ever fast I pay you. Ever fast I pay. Ever fast I pay. I will like. Must really consider that phrasing. Ever fast you ain't pay. I will like because because no, we are emotional. You know, as women. Yeah. What's yeah. the longest you've not spoken to someone because you guys had a rift? Uh huh. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> you still haven't spoken. <laughs> You ghosted her. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably petty. Why, why are you guys yes. fighting? I think one of... The, uh, okay, I can't... Yo, I'm just one of those... If, I, if you're just... If we don't get along, it's just a thing like, okay, it's fine. I can let go of you. It's mm. fine. So it's like we don't have to like carry it forever. <laughs> and I think with that one, it was actually a, a former best friend. Mm. Yo. And... A former. <laughs> <laughs> and but I felt I felt like it became competitive. Like when I got married, you know, and instead of just it's okay, I'm not. So this is not a competition. She started saying things like, you know, it's like she'll feel pressure in saying things like, oh yeah, I'm also this guy said he's gonna marry me and all of this, <laughs> and I could see I'm like I can see this guy is not going that direction. Mm. But so it's like you're disappointing yourself. So it's like I could feel, and in fact, it was like I felt like I'm the wrong one because you're looking at my life and now you feel like you have to kind of give me this impression like it's also going the same way for yourself. So why don't you approach her and tell her that and get it over and done? Simple. It. Yeah, like, it's hey, we're not competing. It was going it was, it was to turn into um, I'm not happy for her. I am jealous. I just, uh, or, or maybe That's just I'm wild. the, I think wow. all this goodness is just happening Let's send her a voice note. Ah, I don't even have a number. <laughs> She wow. deleted me. I think she blocked me. Yeah, because hey, I don't know if years ago I realized. I realized I can't even see her like her stories on WhatsApp. That's when I realized. Okay, I'm Women being blocked. Yeah. Jeez, that's hard. So, that's ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, oh, I can't stop watching Ozark, man. Are you watching Ozark? I'm done with Ozark. I finished it. You finished it? Yes. The new season. Yes. Oh shit! I'm if, on episode nine, I think. Okay. Yeah. The, the the ending is ruthless. Is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no kids. <it's> like, <laughs> The ending is ruthless. It's ruthless. Oh, you'll know what yeah, I mean. Just yeah. check it out. Oh, and you'll, when you get it, you'll have a colder moment. Like, oh, oh, no. It's ruthless. Oh, oh, I love no. it, dog. Check it's, it out. It's one of those series, because you know, normally with these series, they do too many uh, uh, series. Like, once it starts being season four or five, you're like, ah, I should have ended yeah, a long the, time ago. Yeah, it just plateaus in yes. the episode, and then it, it's on a decline. But also, it just keeps me there, bro. It's slow, though. But it, because I think, because initially when I watched it, the premise was also was very similar to Breaking Bad. So yeah. I expected the same intensity mm. on every episode. Mm. But it's got its own pace, but it's incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. What are you, what are you watching, Ghost Lady? Actually, not as I'm thinking. It's like, I'm not even what I'm watching. There's something that just has been in my heart, in like head. Because mm. it's just triggered me so much. I saw this trailer of, uh, there's a show called Enough is Enough. Enough, yeah? is, enough. Is, enough. is Enough. Enough is Enough, yeah. Mm. So it's like, Basically, it's just about people who just have had enough with the toxic, like, your tendencies of their family members. Oh, yeah. oh, so, and it was oh. like, for me, it was just so, it just touched me so much because on that, on that the episode that was going to come, that they're going to play, it's like this woman is basically just wanting to break up with the spouse. Oh, is that Moja Love Show? It's, yeah, it's a Moja Love I, Show. I think yes. I saw it. I See, think I think I saw they there's like a new that, season, yeah. I think, coming up, you know. And then it was like, because I'm going through the same experience, there's a friend of ours or let me say a friend of a friend. Yeah. And the friend, so my friend was telling me that, yo, you know that girl right now is going through so much yeah. that the husband, it's like, 
they're literally he's cheating he's got someone else but then she wants a divorce and this guy will just not let her go you has traumatized oh, her one of those a exes point. clingy yeah, and clingy and it is to well, a point where she's made he made her leave her job just to prove that he's she's not dating anyone or or going to depend on someone else so it's just like he made her lose her Leave her no, job. leave her job. Yeah, leave her job. The ex. No, the husband. The husband. Oh, the husband. No, I'm just talking about my own now because this is. Oh, triggered. this is okay. This is uh, my my own story. The story. Mm. Yeah, because of this show, like basically this woman and this guy is prepared to even go to prison, and says that I'm gonna kill you. Yo. Imagine. This is on the show on Mojala. Like, this guy is like, yeah, la lela. I'm willing to go to San Cities. Zogbulal, you can't leave me. Kind hey, of vibe. Man. Why are niggas possessive happening? like that, bro? It's that whole uh, no one can have you. Yeah. Only I can have you. Yeah, that's why that's what happens eventually when the worst happens. Mm. Nigga decides to off himself and everybody else. Are you taking a picture? No, that that was a serious one. Can we laugh? Like, take the picture. Yeah, when we're laughing, laughing. we've been yeah, laughing yeah. so much. Melican timing. You know there's oh. proper timing and there's Melican timing. <laughs> No, can you take a picture when we're laughing? <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you are yeah. sleeping. Now, what is with you now? <laughs> All right, can you laugh? Can you laugh? <laughs> 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 That's the thumbnail there. Right, you no no hectic guys. Like I, I was just like it, it. This thing just been on my mind all the time. Like why do men do this? So the your woman. friend, wh- what advice did you give her? Your friend. That and that's the leave? thing. I think when I was watching this, I'm looking forward to the, watching the show. Maybe I'm gonna get like some way. How can we help her? How do you mm. help someone in this situation? But the show, how do they help the people in the show? I don't know. The, no, the show is going to be airing, I think, what, uh, next week, Tuesday? Oh. On Mocha Love. Yeah, it's oh, going to be dope, a show on Mocha Love. Dope. And next week, I think, 9.30 in the evening. Yeah. No. So okay, I'm looking no. forward to watching. Maybe I'm going to get answers on even how to help my friend. You mm. know? of how, Like, if you, someone is in this situation, what do they do? Why are ninjas possessive, dog? I don't get it, bro. Like... Oh, so weird, right? Bro. So you love this woman as much as you claim to love her so much. She gives you a chance to date her. Mm. And then you fuck it up, yeah. right? And then when it's you fucked it up, she leaves you because you fucked up. Mm. And then now all of a sudden, it's like, I love you so much, no one else can have you. Mm. But clearly if you loved her that much, you wouldn't have fucked up that bad. Exactly. Everybody fucks up. I mean, you come late once a, once a month, that's mm. fine. You know what I mean? Mm. You cheat maybe once. Mm. That's not fine. Cape but, Town once but that's a year. It's forgivable, right? Without telling her. Yes, oh. yes. You go to Cape Town mm. once a year mm. without announcing. You know what I mean? Mm. Now like you've got a newborn there. <laughs> you don't announce it. You'll be in Cape Town. And your, and your friends did not encourage you to go home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey. You know what I mean? Next thing you are there by rents. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you got your rents. I left you your rents at home, right? Let me enjoy my rents and rents. You know what I mean? That's forgivable. <laughs> Forgivable, mm. but these niggas will just fuck up like that, and yeah. then still think they 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 entitled to this woman's love and presence in their lives. Especially the when they're thing. even in another relationship. But it's like I refuse to even like leave. Let you, you see how you have your 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 own choice to say I want to get into another relationship. Mm. Give her also the opportunity to also go into another relationship. Exactly. You know, so it's like this thing of I can have it all, but you can't. Just because, yes, we've got my child. Yes, I married you and all of this. Now you are stuck. You can't leave. Ah. Nah, niggas need to do away with that, man. Mm. Just because you're married to a woman doesn't mean she's your possession. Yeah. No, exactly. But I hope on the show, because the thing is, I hope on the show that you can't really address these things without actually approaching the perpetrator. Mm. That toxic family member, because I've had a similar situation where I complain about this guy, you know, his family, very entitled to my stuff. Mm-hmm. And I don't owe him shit, mm-hmm. right? And I complain to everyone until I realized it's not helping. Till I, I went straight to him like, yo, dog, listen, stop this because I can just block you, oh. you know? You don't even know where I stay, so I can just block you and forget about you. You know what I mean? And just confront it. I'm like, you know, bro, you're an old man. You're a grown-ass man. Can't be this toxic to me. Can't give me this energy. Mm. I do so much for you. I get little in return. I've never asked for shit from you. But you have to tell the person themselves. Like so what did DJ Fresh say? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't fresh, don't worry. <laughs> it, it wasn't fresh. Fresh and I, we're good. He's my big bro, we're good. We're very good. It's the other big bro who's the problem. I'm kidding, man. <laughs> 
Oh, that sounds interesting, man. What channel is it on? Moja Love. Yeah. Channel 157. It's going to be starting on Tuesday, the 17th Tuesday at 9.30. Oh, oh enough nice. is cool. enough, yeah. right? Enough it's enough. called, yeah. The 17th Sweet. of May. Now we'll check it out. Hey, uh, did yeah. you guys hear uh, the News Cafe story is apparently fake news? Uh, the Gauteng SAPS has apparently confirmed that the stories and reports about News Cafe Woodmead being involved in kidnapping and human trafficking is fake news. The police said that the story is not true at all and went further to warn people about what they post on their social media account. Okay, I get that, but uh, on, 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 on the um, last week's episode, yeah, yeah. People in the comments, some people said, oh, yeah, I had a similar experience. experience. Oh, heavy. At this uh, establishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah, me? So yeah. now I'm like, uh, what's going on, right? Yeah. What's happening if the if the Because even what you read, it was someone's lived experience, right? Yeah, and remember I said the comments, like people were saying, hey. Yes, yes you see, if yes. it's a lie, because we know that, just like the manager was saying, the competitor mm. or other people can just could also want to bash yeah. or maybe get bad service. Or maybe it's one of those people who try their luck with no money in their card and thought they would have money at 12 and it wasn't there and, and now they want to bash the establishment, right? Because mm. they got bad treatment due to their own fault. But when other people in the comments say, oh, this happened to me. Mm. Or, oh, I saw this happen to somebody else. So is everybody making it up then? But whether it's fake news or not, I'm glad it went viral because, yeah, I know everybody needs to be careful, man. Yeah. Regardless if it's fake news or yeah, not. Yes, so regardless if you're, you're at a news cafe or you're anywhere oh, yeah, else, hey, you just got to be careful. Hey, it's wild times now, bro. It's crazy times with the human trafficking. Yeah. It's bad, guys. Please, check your drink. Don't ex- take drinks from strangers. I know it's, it's difficult for some people not to take drinks from strangers yeah. when they go there hoping to get drinks from strangers. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I'm, I'm being for real. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. people, no, let's not lie, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. let's be. Honest. Some people go to club expecting drinks from strangers. Yeah, I've had, I've had a stranger come up to me, wanting me to buy them a drink. Yeah. I'm like, you're a stranger. I could just buy you a drink. Yeah. I don't know you. You know, I don't like you. Yeah. And even if, if I did, I've. I like strangers who can buy their own drinks. Yeah. Those are my kind of strangers. So just be careful, guys out there. Anyway. Have you ever been spiked? Mm, I've never been spiked. No, I've never been spiked. Yeah. Now, nah, only in football. Like when I was playing, I was a goalkeeper. So as a goalkeeper, a lot of times you end up with I'm a cock, so it was saying you get spiked, you know. Like, <laughs> but no, I've never been spiked my drink. Cause I, I'm a true drinker, my drink is always in my hand. I never just leave my drink and go. Yeah. My, mm. You know, nah. And then when I come back after a while, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. this one is not worth it, I'll get another one. Yeah, no. a long time ago, maybe like 20 years ago, uh. I was at a club in Joburg. Mm. And I went there with this girl who's a friend of mine. All yeah. right? So I ran out of drinks and then I started drinking her drink. Ooh. You! When I got home, dog, I didn't go to work for like a week. Mm. I was sick. For real? Yeah, so I think they spiked me. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't myself for a week. Like, Shit. I couldn't speak, couldn't move my mouth. They huh. spiked her. Someone Man. wanted... And I don't get guys who do that. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was hectic. That was hectic. I didn't go to work, bro. And you know me, I love my work. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the spiky thing is old. Like, I'm mean, yeah. not the word, like, in grade eight, would be told of guys putting eye drops in, in, in women's things. Oh, know? yeah. And I ask guys, how the fuck do you, like... If you're gonna do that, what's the what's the enjoyment? You know, yeah. the person is not enjoyment. Pra- practically <laughs> nah, dead. It's practically yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're like, "Aye, you spike cars." <laughs> I'm like, "No, man, you can't call them." <laughs> 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 I'm really. <serious. laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm like, bro, there's no fun in just being with someone who's, who's dead, you know? Spike on Thursdays. Ah, you see. Hey. Sponsored by Sizzota. You know? Ah. Uh, oh, no, man. <laughs> Have you ever been spiked or slayed? I suspect, yes. There was a time when I went out with my friends. And yes, we were ordering like... In fact, we even had a bottle. Which like... That was even... How did they even... I don't know. But the way we were all so sick when we left and just when we were just talking the next day. In fact, when I left the club already, I was just throwing up. Yeah, that's yeah. bad. That was like, like two yeah. years ago. You Never know. leave a drink unattended. Yeah. And also another thing, 
Sometimes this is maybe not spiking, but sometimes people put stuff in their own drinks mm. to have their own fun. Like mm. maybe they'll mix it with drugs or whatever. Mm. Like I had a mate of mine. So in the morning we wake up, you know, <laughs> we had a lodge. <laughs> Did I miss the pun? Oh, but never can back. Did I miss the pun? Anyway, I had a mate of mine. <laughs> Did I miss a pun? <laughs> I had a mate of mine. So we're there in the bus. <laughs> we're leaving the lodge, right? So the guys were partying with last night out there as well. And there's no alcohol. We're going to buy alcohol at the tops around the corner. And the mate is like, hey, down, gonna un telele. No me salva nanyana. Oh, the guy's like, oh, are, you, are you sure? He's like, ah, oh, I just need some alcohol. I'm hungover. Gets his, his stuff poured into him. He drinks. Happy days. Five minutes later, guy is throwing up. He's like, stop the car. Stop the car. I feel sick. Oh, I feel yeah. sick. Stop the car. I'm like, we don't know what you, he put in his drink. You're right? Maybe it's for his own intoxication. Mm. You know. So also, don't do that. Don't ask for drinks. <laughs> that was the me, morning by the after. way. <laughs> It was him. <laughs> He's the mate, my mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was 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 was in 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 bags, like in 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 like, yeah, <laughs> in up. Hey, yo. Crazy, bro. Jeez, I wonder what was in there, bro. You don't know what guys do for their own fun. And you can't blame them. It's their own shit. Eh? Mm. And it's stuff they can handle properly. Yeah, legal or not, or whatever. And you can't thing. exactly say no, because I can see he's drinking. Yeah, so you say human drinking. Yeah. So you're like, ah, oh, it's alcohol, right? We, I know this guy. I've seen him around before. Ah, I'm going to tell you, you know, and then... Hmm. Nice thing, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was kind. Hey, yeah, I'll say, man. Niggas we'll worry though for a second. Though. Niggas didn't stop, by the way. They didn't stop. Oh, they don't so care about talent, these fuckers. <laughs> ah, we didn't stop. Look. <laughs> you have to carry your plastic. Said, plastic. Back to Joe Bag. I'm the plastic. I've been to Hey, dude, go slate. What else has been going on, man? What's been going on? Did you hear about um, Musa Mandela, Nelson Mandela's uh, grandson getting arrested? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. You're not surprised? Mm-mm. So he was arrested for possession of an unlicensed firearm and suspected of drugs um, after the police raided his apartment in Morningside. So his brother, Undaba, actually is the one who bailed the him out. Brother, yeah. Yeah. I remember because um, Cuba taught me how to produce, right? So I went to Cuba's house and he introduced me to another producer. His name is Kosing. Mm-mm. So this guy's from the UK, but his mom is from SA. So he goes back and forth from the UK and SA. Mm. So now I started being friends with Kosing. Mm. So I went to Kosing's house to visit him one day. Mm. And then Buso comes in. And mm. like a bunch of other, yeah, yeah, and a bunch of other guys. And then I'm chilling there, you know, just minding my own business. And after five, ten minutes, they're like, hey, dog, you got to leave. Kosing comes to me. He's like, yo, you got to leave. I'm like, oh, why? We're just chilling. It's good vibes. Uh, uh. They're like, yo, dog, uh, we're about to do mushrooms. You're going to kill our vibe. Huh. Oh, shit. Yeah. There's not mushroom for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's not mushroom for you, nigga. You don't take them drugs. Get out of there. And I had to leave, dog. Seriously? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you kill someone's vibe? But uh, I get it. If he's sober, it's like a sober, that sober guy in the car who hates everybody who drinks. Yeah. And he needs to preach how uh, the demise of the, uh, of many men has been because of alcohol while you're trying to enjoy your enjoy drink. Your, okay. And you're high. Like with of, mushrooms, it's about the setting. You, you have to create a vibe. It's like, yeah, because it's what? Hallucinogenics? Yeah. Right? So it's... Yes. Okay, you know. Ah, the vibe needs to be nice. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh. So I left. Oh damn, bro. Oh, shit. Shame. You didn't do that mushrooms. Damn, damn, hey, me, I'm scared. Oh, dog. Oh, yeah, me, I'm scared. Dog. Yeah, I'm scared of drugs. You have to be. Yeah, I'm scared I'm too, scared, bro. You have to be scared. But of I'll, I'll be honest. After the scoop episode, I wanted to try LSD. Ooh, me too. When I watched that scoop one, <laughs> hey, scoop speaks romantically about <laughs> mushrooms and. Acid, yeah, and all these hallucinogenics, and <laughs> it's like he said he met God. What did he say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hard, like, I met God, bro. You like you? Was, <laughs> which one is this one, right? So I bought. I but I never did them. I threw them away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, no, it's scary. It's scary, dog. It's very scary. I bought the one where it's like a paper, and you have to put it uh, here. Uh, I don't know what that is. I but think it's yeah, LSD. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. LSD. I think. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. just on you. Hey, it's fair check. Come on, Hey. <laughs> 
Oh, mushrooms are not drugs. Oh, fact check guy. Throw, throw the cap, dog. Ma- Bro, mushroom- we should throw the cap. What are you saying, King? Mushrooms are not drugs. What are they? Okay. They are hallucinogenic mushrooms. It, it's a natural thing. It grows on the... Oh, oh like it's like weed. Oh. It's like weed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and I smoke weed, so I shouldn't yeah. have been... Oh, so it's like, it's it's literally mushrooms. Yeah. And then the, the paper thing, where you put your... Those the, are drugs. The, that's LSD, ne? I don't know. Check what it looks oh, like. Oh, remember, you're the fact check guy, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm still gonna get them emails. <laughs> hey, so I saw your fact check guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> no, like anything we say that is questionable. Yeah, like the mushrooms. Anything shout we out assume and we're yeah, wrong, shout like out the, to mushrooms. the mushrooms. You see, you got that from your head because you knew that already. Mm. But that stuff you should be checking. Mm. Are mushrooms drugs? Mm. Simple. Mm. It'll show you. Mushrooms are not drugs. Like, so, wrong. Oh, just throw the cap. Hey, mushrooms are not drugs. Well, you put know? your hand up, bro. I don't know if they're yeah. going to butcher me in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Not you. Him. No, don't put your, the, don't put your hand up because I'm not looking at you half the time. Mm. You know, I'm in my own zone. Just throw the cap in. Like, literally, throw the cap in. I'm showing a cap. Like, literally, just throw the cap in, bro. I'm showing a cap. I told you, cross on your job and pick it up. You can throw it here as long as we see the cap flying in. Man, just put your hand up. Ghost lady will see you, man. I'll see. You. Oh yes, ghost lady will see you. Oh, one of the guys will see you and alert us. Mm. Are we good? Can we continue? So what's that you put on the on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> just Google LSD mouth of roof and see what comes up. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Let me fact check myself. Roof of mouth. Oh, I'm serious. Man. Like that's how you use Google. It'll Google is smart, bro. It's like a smart. It's Google, Google it, Google it. Yeah, there we go, yeah. What did you Google? Mouth of roof. No, just Google LSD. Roof of mouth. The picture. See, you put it in your, in your, in your tongue. Mm-hmm. Or you put it here. You yes, yeah, yeah. It's Wherever it's going to get absorbed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a paper. It's a paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a drug, right? That's yeah, definitely a drug. That yeah. doesn't grow anywhere naturally. Yeah. That's manufactured. Yeah. Or did you Google now? Made in the lab. Yeah. What, what did he Google? The same thing. <laughs> you see, I told you and you laughed at me, right? And it's true. What does it say, fact check guy? I told you picture. Yeah. But you in Google Images, mm. the text doesn't explain what it is. Because we're trying to get to the bottom or the roof or what it is. <laughs> must, I, must I read what it is? Yeah, yeah. Because Lysagic and Diethermai. Ooh. Yay. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your education. <laughs> also known colloquially as acid. Colloquially, colloquially. Yeah, that colloquially. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Slangishly. <laughs> no, literally slang. Is oh. a psychedelic drug. Ah, oh, psychedelic. Yeah. So which one is that? That is the LSD. LSD. Oh, okay. Effects typically include intensified thoughts, emotions, and sensory perception. At sufficiently high dosages, LSD manifests primarily... Uh, Primarily visual as well as auditory hallucinations. Woo. You know, my question is wow. where's Scoop now? Whoa. Hey, yeah, yeah, we can just call Scoop and ask him, what's this one you put up your. Yeah, it's LSD. Yeah, just, uh, no, you know, I'm oh, asking oh, that. LSD. Because normally, yes, as much as I want, when right. I watch the show and you like the way he spoke about, you know, whether you're mushrooms and all of this, you really want to take them. But then afterwards, because I remember thinking, I'd rather observe a person and see how they continue with their life. Also, when you were saying what Oop is good, man. Yeah. So, I'm going to be MNT. I don't know. Scoop is around. Scoop is good. What is Scoop doing? He's rich doing his things, is he not? Scoop should be rich. He's one of the best presenters to grace the TV screen. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Oh, definitely. I think whatever he's doing, he's he's doing great. I think it's nice. He's He's just not uh, retired public. Yes. Like, that's the life he lives. You know, very, it doesn't just go around. Yeah, because people have this misconception when you're not in the public eye, wheel it. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, you're doing even better. Better. Yeah, sometimes we wheel it, really. I remember. (laughs) (laughs) Let me me tell you a nice story. Come on, Pella's dad. On Anacious. So I remember, I used to see him like at this internet cafe in Hillbrook, right? And I'd be like, yo, fuck Anacious. And hide. So the one time I was certain he saw me. But he didn't see me. I think he was printing stuff. But I'm pretty, but he didn't see me. I just walked up to him, like, fuck this shit. <laughs> walked up to him. And he was shot with the soul. I thought you in Cape Town sipping on mojitos. <laughs> you know, on the table mountain or something. Yeah. And he genuinely thought that. You yeah. know, because sometimes when people disappear, sometimes they just go and enjoy themselves. Yeah. You know? Like Momolim, it was a fucking farm, bro. 
Momuli, me the yeah. rapper, right? Yeah. He literally, came, like he, he's a farmer, as his name suggests. Literally, oh. that's what he does. He sells, he sells. Oh, I forgot Umli. the product now. And I, he umli, Umli-me. yes, Umli me, literally Umli me. Like he 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 sells um veggies now. He sells oh. veggies, he supplies to some stores. He literally is good. You know, he's nice. What else he got, Ghost Lady? Um, did you hear about Will Smith? So there are reports that his marriage his, tra- his marriage is troubled, and it's heading for divorce. Oh, oh finally! So, oh, finally! We're not the Will of happy God has for- happened. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let that have a sugar in it. He's been suffering, though, man. He's so been. his troubles have been displayed, not like in the on social, obviously on social media, for everyone to see for the longest time. And yeah. of lately, there was this a trend on trending on Twitter that some followers were happy that his marriage is coming to an end. And with uh, Will Smith, I think about a couple of weeks or was it a week ago, he went to go see a Indian. Somewhere in India, actually. Yes, yeah, so like went to he, India. Remember? Yeah, yeah. What did he see? To the mountains. To the mountains. Who, who was that? Know. That he Some went to go see. Some spiritual people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think maybe after that she had to. He. It is what it is. Fact check guy, you should be googling Will Smith India. Oh, uh, for spiritual purposes, <laughs> yes. Confirm. Raise your hand, man. He's gonna get the hang of it. Don't worry. It's his first day. We need to coach him. He's gonna get there. Will Smith went to travel to India for spiritual purposes. Yes. Yeah, bro, you're in a very integral part of the show. Trust me. When we say something from memory, you just need to be like, shh, and be assertive. Stop. Yeah, this is it. And mm. then you know. Yeah. But I think with the way his divorce has just played out, or not even divorce, his marriage rather has played out over the years. I think it, this is. Evidently, like it should have, it, it's okay to come to an end. Yeah, if there's one guy who deserves yeah. a divorce party, it's Will Smith, man. Because of what he's done, you know, the slap was just the ultimate. It was like maybe this marriage is not good for you, you know, yegela. Mm. Which you see now, which which I sit and ask myself, do these open marriages really work? Because remember, they were like the first couple, couple to come out. Uh, yeah, and you off. That's it. Winner, open relationship yes. or open marriage. Mm. You know, that shit. Clearly, it does not work, it guys. Work. You can try to be cool with someone, but there's no way you're gonna sleep with someone for five, ten years and not catch feelings and still be fine with them going around hey. doing things with other people. It's crazy, right? It's never gonna work. We mm. saw him on Red Table after that whole, you know, August Alcina thing. He, the guy looked depressed. He didn't look good. It just didn't. He didn't sell open marriage like you could just see this yeah. thing is killing them rather than making them stronger. You know. Are you married? Or you married? Or you just in a polygamous relationship? Yeah. Marriage? Yeah, Jada should have had his or, team. What? Or just an arrangement. Yeah, yeah. What's that one? Um, polyandrous. Yeah, that right? one. Oh. Fact check guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm for real though. You know, like yeah. we don't look sort of idiots here. You know, yeah, yeah. Polyandry. Yeah. Yes. Polyandry. Mm. Yeah, polyandrous. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And you make it official, so you know that okay, if my wife is not with me, she's with. Now, yeah. you know what I mean? Not with now, she's with Tato. Yes. Ah, it's just his job, I didn't know. I'll catch, I'll, I'll be now angry we can when get I find angry. out. Yes. Wow, you got your job, I thought, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It doesn't work. But thank goodness, man, Will Smith has been getting embarrassed publicly. Yeah, it's Yo. it's just not good. Been Anything good. else you got? Um, Did you hear about the T.I. son who's in the country? Domani. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Domani. Is and it Domani or Domani? <laughs> <laughs> Duman. Well, he's in South Africa, so good Duman. Oh, yeah, yeah, Duman. Duman. Good to bring in. Good to bring in. Duman. 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 Oh, on the oh, upcoming, nice you know, tour, you know, so um, yeah, the cool. Iverson tour, yes, dope, yeah, dope, dope. dope man. I love Nasty. Hey, man. hands up! So cool. The fact check guy's got his hand up. Yeah. When Nasty C was in America, apparently he made a song with him. Oh, oh so the, uh, you see, you see? The America, there oh. we go, there we go, there ah, you yeah. go. Because actually, right I was gonna, uh, I was gonna, ask it, I, was, I was thinking about it. Like, so what makes him just come all the way from America and think of Nasty C? So you see, actually, they've got a, a song they're, they're together. Relationship already that they that you know. I love Nasty C, man. He just does his own thing, keeps it moving. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I think you can be a man. friend of the shows. Oh, we've interviewed him twice. Some really. interview though, just chilling with us and you know, oh, no. and talking about the current things with him, not necessarily like going into him. Oh, okay, okay, like a friend of the show, no? yeah. Because I also bumped into um, 
uh, Njenji, Njeleg. Oh, Njeleg, yeah. Yeah, yeah. at a little shop, obviously, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he was testing me, right? So he's like, oh, cover up with masks. So I'm there, strolling. He's like, ah, he comes to me. like I'm like, hey, bro, what's up? And I'm being friendly, though, you know, because yeah. I don't know who it is. Yeah. I said, he's a human. Yeah. Gandhi's here. I'm like, ah. So I'm like, ah, come through, man. There's a friend. I wish I said the same note. I wish Steve. You know, so I think you can chill with 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 the homie nasty. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just All right. chill on the show. Do you want to talk about this four day island sex party? Oh, oh yes, I love it. Yeah. Imagine. I, love it. I knew I love you guys it. would love something it's like this. It's an incredible idea. There's apparently an event organized for US tourists for a limited amount of guests who go for a sexcation. They buy tickets and then be taken to a secret location where they will spend four days having sex, boozing, and partying. Doesn't that sound like oh ship? Uh, <laughs> it is old ship. <laughs> Weren't you that there, Sol? Were you not there, Sol? <laughs> I was at old ship. <laughs> oh, it sounds like any cruise. Let me just say old ship. Yes, it any sounds cruise, like any, any cruise. cruise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has been reported that the latest um, sex island event will take place at a secret location, just a helicopter ride away from Las Vegas in the U.S. The sex workers are tested for HIV and STD on site. So That's good. Sonar. Yeah. So we're not condomizing. Tickets cost about 72,000 rands According to reports yeah. Oh my goodness Jeez an And I think I, it's, it's, an it's, for 50, idea. it's 50 people right It's 50 yeah, male 50 men Yeah 50 men And then there's 100 women Thank you So it's wow. two It's two It's a color It's multi For each Because sometimes one And you can, ma- inter- you can, you can change you know? Yeah because some men Don't have the stamina Of other men Other men Most men Will be sleeping And then the 50 Or 20 men Who are left uh, 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 standing have or oh, 10 men have the 100 women to themselves so it, all, it won't always be like one for two it can be one for four yeah yeah you know or just an orgy but two men and 20 women in the room mm. hey, but I think after one night I'll be tired dog. you can't be fucking for four days in a row dog it's like non-stop don't worry, let's temporarily resign from the podcast. You know, unemployment is that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you that sex thing. Don't you take medication, I'm sure. Unemployment are good. Eh? You take medication. Oh, you can take medication so, to, take get a blue your, pill. to get your monies. Look at you condoning this. No, I'm just saying, if I'm going to ask. Condoning. Like, do you guys. <laughs> condoning. <laughs> would you guys go? Is it way. something that you would consider? It's not a bad thing. Look, if I'm single. Yeah. I'd do it. It's safe. It's legal, right? It's America. Sex work is legal. It's legal. Um, it's safe. Consensual. It's consensual. Everyone else is over the age limit. Yes. It's a holiday. You're paying for what, you know what I mean? I'm sure even some of people... Of course, if you are moral or whatever, yeah, it's, it's whatever. But let's be honest. Is there any crime being committed? No, no, no. I'll do it. But I think after oh. a day, I'd be bored. Like, there's only so much pussy you can have. Oh, come on now. What's the longest sex marathon you've had? Uh, this past birthday of... Uh, oh. Uh, oh, the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole day. The fuckathon. <laughs> You're bored there. Nah, nah, nah. You're boring the whole. <laughs> The boring company. <laughs> well, you're wearing a mask while having the sex. And then there's an eel that came on the mask. Eel on mask. <laughs> the boring company CEO. <laughs> but I think but, that's but a great I, idea. But I love my woman. It's different, man. So it's different. Yes. It's there's one thing about having sex with a person you love that you can have just dedicate a whole day for this for of sex. Course, you know like, what I'm saying? Sweat, sex. Grill meats, Uber Eats, water, alcohol, sex, sex, Tra- sex. Nuga just... funk in Jinky and it's just sex. Mm. Naked on the couch, mm. Netflix and sex. Mm. You know, mm. everything there and then sex. Mm. Yes. Uh, eat peanuts, sex. Yes. <laughs> you like, eat peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> so when you love a person. Yeah. Then when you have sex with a person you don't love, as soon as you turn like, Luham, can, can I request for you? Luham, like yeah. there's one thing about you, you can even chill with the person you love after sex for a good any time. Pillow talk, mm. pillow talk, mm. or even not pillow talk, just their presence. You know, mm. you can open your laptop, do your stuff, and they're there watching Netflix, and you just, you know, they're chilling, 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 and then your dick goes whoop, mm. put your laptop away, and it's and then mm. chill afterwards. You know what I mean? But you're right though, with strangers. 
there's only a s- like yeah, yeah with strangers yeah, yeah. only such would you let Munaka go to this mm. yes. no he's single if he's single mm. and they tested if he's single I'm not even in the picture oh come on <laughs> obviously I don't care <laughs> yeah you're an ex now I mean yeah, if he's single you're an ex uh, he must have fun Oh, jeez. Yeah, he must have fun. Yeah. But uh, for as long as I'm there, no. <laughs> you, you got I'll, all the fun. I'll be the island. I'll take him hey. to my island. Hey. <laughs> island. Hey. And he's like, yes, baby, I land in there. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> he dives in. <laughs> he's uh, allowed. There's this new trend of the so-called female influencers spending money on surgeries. So they look like dolls. Apparently, Ino Moreling is on the path, if rumors are to be believed. Ino is in are Turkey. To be Not Ino. Who's this? Eva uh, Mudika. Eva. Eva. Oh, she's in, yes. Yeah, didn't Amanda? Amanda Dupont also was in Turkey. She got some stuff done on her yeah. body. Well, it's public. I read it somewhere. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I know you, you can't say much. You, you got to do going on there. <laughs> but she was there as well. Yeah, hey, yeah. it looks like everybody's doing these things, eh? Yeah, she needs to do a surgery on her personality, not her body. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! She must come to the podcast. We'll, 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 we're the surgeons. We'll work Some on the personality. Yeah. We'll work like, hey, need more puns here. Yeah, more humor here. Hey, laugh a bit. Lighten up. Nah, she's already light, bro. Oh fuck! How do we make it lighten up? <laughs> we don't know. We'll make a plan. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I think Turkey is the new destination. Of everyone just goes to get. But remember, she did say even Modiga that it's cheaper. Oh, to do yeah. surgery in, 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 in Turkey. Yeah, I prefer turkey breasts over chicken breasts. Hey! Ivo! Stop that fucking shit. Ivo! Would, you allow, your, turkey would now? you allow your woman to go get, um, not even allow, but I'm just like, would you encourage your spouse to go get stuff done? Well, or are you that are you that person who just wants it all that's natural? Why it's to choose a spouse you're happy with. And I'm very happy with my person. Her shape, the curves, the tits. The feel, the tone of the skin, her neck, the way it feels against my teeth, her 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 earlobes. But sometimes it's not the even hair about when you. I rush. It's a her. And it's a her thing. I'm happy if with she, everything. No, not even. It's not about you, but it's like her. She feels like, oh, you know what? I want to. I'd like to do my. Get oh, my then she can, done. as long as it doesn't get in the way of also what I like. Because oh. it's not like the world, eh? Hey? Hmm? You describe the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? And you're going it's, in there. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> 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 what? What else? What else? Look, unless and uh, people will say it's her body, she can do what she wants. Yeah. But no, if we're in a relationship, unless it doesn't hinder on what I like, I can't wake up one day and say, "Baby, I want to shorten my dick." And yeah, she has to agree with it, right? Yeah, she'll be like, "Well, I like your dick the way it is, so I can't just go. I want to shorten my dick." So also, if it's like, "Oh, okay, that's cool," and especially if let's say we're married, I'm like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, but I wouldn't mind if she wants to g- get something done that I'm like, whoo. Because I have those debates with Naga. Like, I've come to understand that, wow. well, it's just not just about me. It's also about, yeah, I'm not, if, like, for instance, I always said, I'd love to have big breasts, you know. And then he goes, but I'm not into big breasts. Yeah, so yeah. if you were to do them, they can't be that, like, you can't yeah. go extreme. So I have to be considerate, yeah, yes. you know. No, uh, rightfully yeah, so. Even him, you can't shorten his dick or his height. <gasps> Yeah. You know how, mm. but I no. like you to all like it. for his facial hair not to grow. And you yes. know, but I like your beard. Yes. And he paid for those tits, so he must take care of them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So is that all you'd like to change? <laughs> just the tits? Yeah, like, I think so. I'm just That's curious it. now. This BBL movement that everyone is, I, I'm like, I don't see the beauty in this this Brazilian butt lift. There are all these bums that look the same. I know. Mm. Um, is that called? It's BBL? Yeah. Oh. It's the BBL. Yeah, Brazilian butt lift. What's it, what's what does BBL stand for? Fact checker. BBL. Brazilian butt lift. Yes. Brazilian yes. butt lift. Oh, hey, you Brazilian... didn't even that one. Yeah. Hey, is it true? <laughs> that was fast, actually. <laughs> oh, Brazilian butt lift. Butt lift, yeah. Oh, yeah. dope. Yeah. Have you been to Brazil? Uh, no, but I heard you did a butt lift in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> did I you? you? I, I know you were in Rio. <laughs> How did that go? Oh, it's beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. the women they're beautiful. So are Brazilians as good as they look like in the porn flicks and stuff. Yeah. yeah Cuz yeah. they always show like flame ones there. Yeah, Even yeah, when yeah. Brazil plays at a World Cup, you see a hot woman yeah, at the stands. They're, they're gorgeous, man. Ooh. It's like it's like white chicks with black bodies. Yeah. White chicks. Ooh, I love those. Did you get me? I was with 
It's that Brazilian. Who did you go to get coffee for Sviso? Was it Mesh? I was with someone from the Belgian crew, mm. and we were at a garage. The engine was so a white woman with a black boy. Oh, the one with the zoo. Yes. Who did I go to get drinks with there? It was Mesh, I think. It was Mesh. Oh, Jason, Jason, Jason. Oh, it was Jason. Jason. So Sviso wants coffee. Like, why didn't you order coffee at, at the, where we were? So we go, and then, boom. And it's just be some other Afrikaans. I'm like, yo. <laughs> and you see, that's the waste in South Africa, right? They don't even like black guys, a lot of them who, who have those bodies, and black guys are salivating over them. Yeah. So in Brazil, you get it. Yeah. And they, they've they been with black guys because uh, there's a lot of black people in Brazil. Yeah. Yo. There's black, black, black. black yeah, yeah, black, black, like black. black. What's your. Not Robinho. Robinho is black, but your. Um, what's that guy who plays for Chelsea? William. William and the other one also. Uh, Ramirez. Ramirez. Mm. Like those really low black folks. In, in yeah. oh. Actually, Pogba must come back to South Africa, man. He must just come back home. Did you oh. see him dancing to Mvelo? <laughs> yes, I'm on Velo. But to MJ. <laughs> but to Mo <laughs> East. That's not top four. That's, <laughs> that's the Man United Mvelo version. <laughs> Oh, I get that. I saw that at, at the gym, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah he's there's been. this exercising to it. Yeah. yeah. He's been. No, he must just come. He misses home. He's bro. been oh. loving my piano. Like, yo, for a while. I must just come. He's yeah. like a natural. Now I must come home, Pogba. Yeah. You know, each Sanyama. There's nothing they're doing there in Man United anyway. I mean, yeah. you know, they're not getting shit. They're not qualifying for Europa. Or maybe they just. Yeah. They're not, you know, they must come home, man. Oh, I saw oh, yeah. that. A quick update. Remember yeah. the Metro Couple called last week about his show? Yeah. Oh, yeah? There's a production company that wants to shoot it now. Hi, Bo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, flip. See? You yeah. see, you see. And, and cops are always ready for some shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read it. Read it. Hi, Mac. I'm Livingstone Pule from Centurion. I'm a film arts graduate from the Open Window Institute. I have a production company that shoots films, music videos, and documentaries. My team and I are interested in the I Dare You Show idea uh, forwarded by. Yeah, he wants to shoot and we'll edit the content. Feel free to check out our content on YouTube under the 4187 Entertainment channel. If you and Bafo would like to see me, we can set up a meeting and discuss a way forward. <laughs> Bafo. Yeah. So that's his name, no Bafo. Bafo. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. All a living stone. <laughs> yeah. So, so that shit's going to happen. How dope. Shit dope, bro. Yeah. That is dope. It's the power of the podcast, man. Let's make it happen. We make yeah. careers. Yeah. You know? I want to be a Metro Cop for a day. I, I want to be a Metro Cop for a day. Why? Right. Ha, just to... <laughs> Experience just to get the opportunity. Come on now. Ah, I'm fully charged. Hey man, I can't imagine you as a metro cop. But anyway, we are here, man. Podcast and chill. Penduka. Peace. We out. Shout out to our uh, what's the guy? Uh, Fat check. Yeah, Fat hey, check. William. Now. William. Thank you. Hola, <laughs> <laughs> William. We are here. Podcast and chill. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Make sure you check out Grand Church and nearest tops. Well, only these ones. But anyway. Boom. Enda. Something wrong with Meg G. Uh, we had to drive to. Where did we drive to? We drove to. Hey man, what's your business, man? We're back to doing someone's house in this airport. Stuck it down. Stuck it down. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Fuck it up, bro. You guys are beverages, huh? Don't take pictures oh. of the <laughs> From this <laughs> vision of the Lord. <laughs> Show me. Point point in one. I'll start with that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hold it on and see number four. Yeah, I told you. I told you, Tim. These Quino stars. Our rock stars. You know you're rich when everybody wants something. A normal circumstances, he should have been a quieter artist. 